This is me 18 years ago. And hopefully you can see things have changed. This is where my face started growing hair and my head started losing it. <laughs> uh, essentially, I'm here to explain some of the situations and problems I have with the general public thinking that this is real tattooing. Uh, these are fabricated stories and the tattoos that they do, while they are real, the stories behind them are not. Uh, also, these people don't tattoo nearly as fast as you think they do. Uh, this is a real tattoo. This woman, a 19-year-old girl, came in with this because she was drunk the night before and let someone do this. This is some of my work. This is what I'm promoting. <laughs> this is what we can do with some of that work. Essentially, we can rework old crappy house gun tattoos, cover them up, we can use a laser. I don't have the laser, but there is a laser you can lighten it with, or you can have them essentially removed. This is the result of publishing this term. This is one of my co-workers' uh, work. This was actually done yesterday. Uh, it took about three and a half hours to produce. So after six years of suffering with this, three hours later she had that. Just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean you make good choices. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of tattoos being shown on athletes and basically celebrities, a uh, number of people that have really not the best work. Unfortunately, this does not drive people to my business that are looking for good work. They're just looking for more tattoos. Uh, essentially, it's not a problem, but my job is to educate. This guy's a jackass. <laughs> they made two movies by the same name. Uh, the tattoos on his front are horrible. The tattoo on his back, while it's kind of goofy, it's well done, and I have to give him kudos for seeking out someone who can do good work. The reason it's so good is because it's so big. Here's an example. Bigger is better. You can't read the text on this tattoo. This is a result of covering that tattoo with the same concept with bigger letters. You'll still be able to read this in 20 years. Uh, a lot of the problems I have with people coming into my studio is they think having a lot of tattoos is a status symbol when I'm concerned about the way the tattoos look. I don't care how many tattoos you have. If they look like crap, they look like crap. You should do your research. This is some of my work. I've been working on my abilities for a long time, and hopefully my point is to get across that there are some of us out there that are doing artwork in the skin. We're trying to make people look better than they feel themselves. Your artist should be able to take a piece of art that maybe they created and transfer it into the skin with little or no distortion. If you don't see that, avoid that person. If they're not showing you a portfolio of work that they've done before, then you don't want that work. Also, don't let a tattoo artist talk you into getting your neck or hand tattooed until you have no other space. <laughs> There's a reason that I don't have hands or neck tattoos. I have two full sleeves. But you would not know that. The biggest problem I have is <laughs> I don't spell very well. And just like in construction, make sure that you measure twice and cut once. Okay, make sure that what you're giving me to use as a tattoo is spelled correctly. These are actual tattoos. Oh. They are mistakes made not only by the person getting the tattoos, but also by the person who did the tattoo. But it's not my job to verify your spelling. In fact, along with the spelling, make sure the person you're getting their name tattooed on you is going to be around. Perfect example, I have Kim tattooed on my leg. My wife's name is Lisa. <laughs> you can avoid getting the name tattooed on you by getting an image. This woman's father was a hunter. This is a duck that he shot. This is a portrait of that man's grandfather when he was in World War II. So those are some options to avoid the misspell. You can also get an image. This man wanted a skull. He wanted something to represent his family. These four flowers, his wife and three kids. That is his wife as a mermaid. And of course, he didn't bring me a naked picture of his wife. But you would think we see a lot of boobs. We don't. I have to deal more with them. Moods, actual naked people. But ultimately, in the title it says it doesn't tickle. The fact is that it does hurt, there is blood involved, and 
regardless of what you decide, if you want to get tattooed, get what you want, get it where you want it, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Thank you very much.